Well, uh, I thought Lafayette did a really nice job of fighting themselves back into the game. Um, you know, when you're sitting in first place, you know, that's what we told the guys before the game. We said it at halftime. You can't relax and, you know, people are going, you know, they'll take shots at you in that regard. So I thought we uh, we, we relaxed. We, we, you know, we turned the ball over. It's back-to-back -back games now. We've had 18 turnovers, and so we, we got to clean that up. Um, but, uh, you know, I, the last thing I just told the guys before I left, last year we lost, we won 16 games. We lost five games inside of four points. Lost every single one of them. This year we've won every single one. You know, so the difference of just finishing, you know, you finding ways to win. You know, I said we're, you know, you got eight games now. You're eight games away from 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 winning another championship. Three in the last four years, and so you're gonna have games like this. It's not gonna be easy. Nothing we're gonna do is gonna be easy. But I like this group. I thought Isaiah Dennis was man was was a big time senior at the end defensively. You know, mentally he made the turnover, came back, and I thought defensively he got you know three deflections and two possessions, and so uh, saved the saved the win for us. So uh, chalk this one up. It was another good. We win the win, and you know it's against the, one of our rivalry schools in uh, Lafayette and uh, you know we, 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 we beat both teams and it's hard to beat teams twice in a year like that and so they got pride he's a good coach and you know those kids want to win too but uh, uh, the good guys won today questions coach the team had 18 turnovers uh, yeah. what exactly was the opposing I just thought it was us. I mean, we, we, we've gotten careless in the last two games. You know, we, we went on a stretch about seven, eight games, man. We had like 10 or less turnovers. We were really taking care of the ball. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jeremy had four. DeMarcus had four. Our best players can't do that. Eight, eight turnovers between them. Uh, just careless and trying to go too fast. You know, part of when, you, when, you, when you're sitting up at the top, everything becomes magnified. Guys get a little antsy. And we got to relax a little bit. We got to relax, you know. Uh, when we were fighting our way up, we didn't turn the ball over. Now you're at the top. You got to relax, calm down a little bit, and let the game come to you. And that's not what's, what these two guys are doing. I think they're trying to do a little bit too much, but they're still good players, you know, and so they still know how to win. I mean, they still had 19 and 16. Um, and look at their shooting percentages. So uh, they can't be perfect, you know. So, but you know me, I'm going to get on about the turnovers, though. What happened to the offense on the final stretch? You guys didn't score a single field goal in five minutes. I think, I, I think we, we got we just got really careless and and, and sloppy and, and and really got tight, you know. Um, you know, we, we everything we run, I think out of that was out of those. I think we had six turnovers during that stretch. Um, you know, Jeremy, we had an easy layup. We did. I mean, I thought uh, the, the turning point of the game is when we had the fast break and and Jeff Thomas threw the ball. She just laid it up. You know, again, just careless. And uh, we, we we just got to get back from that. And turnovers come in bunches. I've said that since I've coached. You know, they come in bunches. And once you get that ro that ball rolling, you can't stop. It. And so I think that was part of it. Just got to stop fouling. You know, we got to stop fouling. But again, I, I'll take the turnovers. I'll take the fouls. I'll take all of it. Um, but I also take eight in a row, seven in a row, sit in first place. You know, we are 15 and seven. A lot of people want to be doing what we're doing. So we, we won't, we definitely won't worry about the negatives. We can't, you know, the great part about it, and I keep saying this, we haven't played our best game yet. And then during this win streak, we have not played. When we play our best game, you'll know. Because guess what? I'll be sitting over for 40 minutes sitting down. So take a picture of that and send it to me too, okay? Uh, but again, you know, there, you know, when you're in a, when you're when you're in a fight for a championship and you're in a streak, you're gonna have good games, you're gonna have bad games. The key is that you're winning the games, and I thought that's what we did. And so, uh, kudos to our kids because they're having fun with this now. They can smell it. They can smell it. Eight games away, these kids can smell it, man. We've got you know, Isaiah Dennis, and you know, he's 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 got two of them. He's got two rings sitting there. He's trying to get the third before he leaves. So these kids can smell it. Uh, my job is to try to keep them relaxed if I can do that, and. Uh, and, and, and then get them ready for Monday. Get them ready for Monday. How big did Ben Levy come, come in the game? Who's that? How big he Who? I, I don't, I, I've, I've run out of words to say it about that kid's unbelievable, man. I mean, if you, you saw, most of you guys saw him just a year ago, to see what he's doing, you know, whether it's a tip dunk, whether it's going out and get a big time rebound, whether it's shooting a three. Uh, and he's only a sophomore. He's only a sophomore, you know. Um, so again, I he he he's just been he's he's been an outstanding player, and I thought he was just a monster today. Seventeen five, you know, a block shot, a steal. I mean, he just made every single play. Uh, uh, you know, every time I, I I when we we practice every day, and I see Malik and and Demarcus and Jeff Thomas walk in, two sophomores and a freshman. I think our program's sitting pretty good right now with with, with talent. So, um, but Malik's just getting better and better and better. Coach, this game now in the books. You have another game on Monday. Uh, what is the biggest thing that you guys can take from this going into Monday? Well, you know, I think you move on. You are who you are this time of year. I think that it's the mental part. I just told the guys that you win, you win Monday games on Sunday. 
who has the best mental preparation? Yeah, because you're not going to practice. So who has the best mental preparation? Who takes care of the bodies? So, again, we got to make sure that we win the game tomorrow on Sunday. And so uh, it doesn't matter who we play. And, you know, again, what we want to do is today what we did, we were the first game done today. We put pressure on the rest of the sun about the guys are behind us to win games. And so we were in that spot before. When you know the team ahead of you won, that pressure to win just adds up. And so when we keep putting pressure to win, it just keeps, you know, again, you know, it just helps us. So we take it one game at a time, and we'll get ready for Monday. But uh, that starts for us tomorrow. You guys having fun with this, man? You guys, you enjoying it? I mean, we could be in last place, so make sure you guys enjoy this, man. You know, you, you, got, you got the Falcons, you got Georgia State. What else you want to see in Atlanta? Y'all need to be smiling a little more around here, man. It's okay. Thank you. God bless you.